Hello! In today's math lesson, we're going to look at some examples of using two-way tables. So two-way tables are a bivariate data, which in statistics, bivariate data is data on each of the two variables, where each value of one of the variables is paired with a value of the other variable. So we've seen this in things like scatter plots, where you're matching up two variables to make a single point. Um, not like circle graphs or histograms where you're talking about stacking up one data or comparing one piece of data to the whole or to other parts. So bivariate data, we're talking about two variables. So a two-way frequency table is a display used to summarize bivariate categorical data. The table can also be called a contingency table or a joint frequency table. In a two-way table, a joint frequency is the number of times a combination of two conditions occurs. Basically, it's where we're matching up two variables to make a description. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at data collection with a class, and we're going to survey them and fill out this um, two-way table. And the two-way table, we're comparing our two variables here are has Apple earpods and has been to Texas. And we're counting if they've been to the airport in Texas as having been to Texas. So we're going to start with our first poll question for the class is, how many of you have been to Texas and own Apple EarPods? And we see that we have hands raised for 11 that are yes to Apple EarPods and yes to having been to Texas. Next question we're going to poll our class with is, how many of you have been to Texas and do not own Apple EarPods? So yes to Texas, but no to Apple brand EarPods. And we have one student that has been to Texas, but ha does not have Apple EarPods. Let's survey our class again. We have how many of you have not been to Texas and do own Apple EarPods? So no to Texas, yes to EarPods is this box. We're going to put, we have six people raise their hand. We're going to put a six there for gathering our data for the example. And our last question, how many of you do have not been to Texas and do not own Apple EarPods? So that's no to EarPods and no to Texas. And how many hands do we have up? We have three or have not been to Texas and do not own Apple EarPods. We have three there. So this is our data collection, and this is where we found our joint frequencies. We joined together Apple EarPods with Texas. So we have the yes and no's. This is the body of our two-way table, and this is where we find our joint frequencies. Next, we're going to look at marginal frequencies, and marginal frequencies just have to do with adding up what we have from our table. So now we can find the marginal frequencies. We can fill in these boxes around the margin. So we can find the total of people that have Apple EarPods. So that have Apple EarPods, 11 plus 6, we get 17. We can add and find the number of people that do not have Apple EarPods. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Then we can add a crosser. How many people have been to Texas? Well, 11 plus 1 is 12 that have been to Texas and have not been to Texas. 6 plus 3 is 9. We can add and find the total number of people that have not been to Texas. And that leaves us with our grand total part. So we have 17 plus 4 is 21, and 12 plus 9 is 21. And this is a good way to double check to find this number to make sure that our column added up to the same number as our row added up to. All right, and that shows data collection. That's the first thing we can use two-way tables for. Next, let's look at missing values. So this happens pretty regular with two-way tables where they give you a two-way table that has some information given and some information we need to find, and we can use addition and subtraction properties to do that. So like how many females said yes to eating breakfast on a regular basis? Well, yes. This column adds up to, um, so we have yes to eating breakfast, and they're female. So 300 minus 190 or 275 minus 165 
and we can get this box has to be 110. How about how many males said no to eating breakfast? Well, this column adds up to 320, so 320 minus 190, we can find this amount as 130. Then we could find how many people in total said no to eating breakfast? Well, we can add 130, 165 to get 295 or our totals for no to breakfast. And then we can add up 300 plus 295 to get our total and 320 plus 275 to get our total number of people that answered the survey as 595. Now, we can also use this to decipher harder word problems. And I would say this is the core um, problems that you'll see with two-way tables. So I would take the time to write this down and fill out all the information you can. Um, before you start adding and subtracting, you want to pull all the information possible from the word problem before you start filling in blanks with adding and subtracting to figure out the other information. So let's start with statements we find within the word problem. So we have a survey of eighth graders at a middle school found that 73 students own an iPhone and 60 of those students also own a PlayStation 5. There are nine students that do not own an iPhone but own PlayStation 5. Eight students that do not own either. So we'll take this in chunks. So let's start with 73 students own an iPhone. Well, that means we have a total for iPhone of 73. So we put 73 here. And 60 of those students own a PlayStation 5. So 60 of the ones that have an iPhone also have a PlayStation 5. So that means we have 60 that are yes to iPhone, yes to PS5. Then the next thing we're going to look at is our nine students that do not own an iPhone but own a PlayStation 5. So if we look, nine students that do not own an iPhone but own a PlayStation 5, we're going to put nine for no to iPhone, yes to PS5. Then the only other statement from the word problem that we've not used yet are eight students that do not own either device. So we're going to fill in eight students that do not own either on the no to iPhone, known to PS5. So now we've found all the given information from the word problem. Now we can just use addition and subtraction to fill in the rest of the table. So we know this column adds up to 73. So how many students have an iPhone but no PS5? That's 13. How many students are no to iPhone? Well, we could add 9 plus 8. There are 17 that do not have an iPhone. Then we can add across for how many have a PS5? 60 plus 9, 69. And we can find what's the total number of students that do not have a PS5. 13 plus 8 is 21. Then we can add our columns, we can add our rows, and we get 90 students in total that did the survey. So this is the harder type of problems you run into. You want to fill in all the information you can from the word problem part, then use addition and subtraction to figure out the relationships to fill in the missing boxes. Kind of fun, almost like a Sudoku kind of puzzle. All right, so I want you guys to uh, complete this table and then answer the questions. Pause the video here, come back, see how you did. So how many students, after you've completed the table, your completed table will look like this. Then we can go through and we can answer each of these questions. Like, how many boys liked adventure movies? Well, boys and adventures movies, 15. How many teachers preferred comedy? That would be 16. How many girls were asked? 100. And out of the people who liked comedy, how many were boys? So this is called a conditional question. So we have this condition given of out of the people that like comedy, and this is very common in two-way tables, is they don't want us to look at the whole thing. They just want us to look at this particular column that have to do with people that like comedy. So people that like comedy, um, we're looking at how many were boys out of that. So 51 out of the 104. And we'll have those conditions, and sometimes they have to do with columns, sometimes they have to do with rows. A um, couple more questions let's look at from this table. So out of the people who liked romance, what percent were girls? All right, so I need to find people that like romance. So this is a column that has to do with romance. Uh, what percent were girls? 
Well, 38 out of 94. So 38 out of 94, uh, 40%. And then our last question, out of the teachers, so out of the teachers means I'm just looking at this row, out of the teachers, what percent pick comedy movies? Well, that's 16 out of 50. 16 out of 50 would be 32%. And I hope that helps you guys get started on two-way tables. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.